Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So in this video, I am doing a Poundland haul. I'm literally in Poundland every single week. So this is your Poundland haul by me. I did have to nip in anyway because I needed a few last minute bits just for like Halloween and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I hope you're all doing really well anyway and that you've had a really good week. As I've already mentioned on Instagram and stuff, like I haven't really been posting. I haven't done a video. I just felt a little bit off the past week, to be honest. Um, it's been an odd one, like yeah, it's, it's hard to explain, like a little bit run down um, from work and stuff. Obviously I can't say too much, you know, in case anyone ever sees it from work, you know, and it gets sacked, but you know, that might be a good thing. Um, <laughs> I would love to do YouTube full time, you know, that that is the dream that, you know, I love my job, like as you know, I'm a carer. Um, but I, just, I just feel like, yeah, I, I don't really know. I don't really know how to explain it, to be honest, but I just feel like it's a little bit draining at the minute. All my attention, like literally all my attention is for YouTube. I'm constantly like planning, constantly like saving money to do videos and stuff. I'm trying to save up for new bits of equipment, like a new lens and a new camera to vlog. So yeah, it's all over the place. It's all over the place at the minute, but I would love to do YouTube full time. So I'm a little bit drained and stuff this week, like mentally drained. So I needed a few days to recharge. Literally cannot thank you all enough, like for your lovely messages, asking if I'm okay and stuff. Like that really means a lot. Like I actually feel like I've got friends. Like I, I don't really have friends and it's just really nice. Like that's really nice. Um, So thank you. Like I'm well, I'm okay. Just had a few days off, you know, I just needed to recharge, reflect, get my focus back. And you know, I'm back, I'm back bitches. <laughs> Anyway, I'm waffling on, but I am going to do a separate video, you know, more of a chatty one. You know, I like to do these offloading, venting, ranting, talking, chatty ones. I am doing one of them. But this is a Poundland haul. I have gone way off track. I do apologise. If you think you'll like this kind of video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's fayj202. I'll put it all in the description box. Don't know why I said it like that, box. So yeah, keep on watching. As I said, I needed to nip in Poundland for a few last minute Halloween bits. Um, I always get sidetracked and it isn't just Halloween bits. Yeah, I'm throwing the boys a little bit of a party. It's just gonna be us. We're not going trick or treating or anything this year. Um, and I'm truly gutted about that because it's something we really enjoy as a family to do and that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jazz the house up and I'm gonna put some bits outside and some pumpkins and stuff. Cause where I live, like I live on a council estate and doing a bit of like a display thing. So instead of like trick or treating, um, everybody's gonna look at everyone's displays. I am gonna leave a bowl of sweets outside, like wrapped sweets, just in case there are some kids that do wanna trick or treat still. Every year we have hundreds of kids knocking, let me tell you like hundreds. And we underestimate how many sweets we have. And we're constantly nipping like back and forth from the shop. So this year I'm just gonna put like a big thing outside Side full of sweets um in case there are still trick-or-treaters yeah we're just gonna do the house up because where we live everybody's so like nice do you know what i mean like everyone's really like community spirited um and is that a thing community spirited go all out for halloween it's really nice atmosphere so yeah that's what everyone's doing so i needed to nip in and the first thing that i'm going to show you like i am so happy we got i'm very handsy today as well like um yeah i'm i do this all the time like i express stuff with my hands um <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I'm very um, handsy, but um, <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna show you for Halloween, I'm absolutely in love with. Like I thought it was gonna be a lot more than it was because obviously like Poundland are up in their prices with things. Like things just aren't a quiz anymore, are they? I was expecting this to be a lot more, but I have a guess. Um, what do you think this is? Like it's a proper massive like sign. Like honestly, it's really big um, to go outside. Like it's honestly, it's so big. Um, and I think it's really cool. Like it stands quite tall and it says on it, Witch's Way, Dead End, Spider Street, Pumpkin Patch and Raven Road. Bloody love it. How much do you think this was? Honestly, have a guess. Three quid. This was three quid. Like three quid for that. That is banging. That is absolutely banging, honestly. We had loads in stock as well um, where I go, which is the Skeggy store, you know, good old Skegg Vegas. But yeah, three quid, absolute bargain. So I'm gonna put that outside. We are kind of going with one theme. So I have got other hauls to do. Like I've got so much stuff over there to show you. So I'm on to my first bag from Poundland, good old Poundland. And you know what? Actually, they've got some really good gift ideas this year. I have got that video coming. Like I'm doing a whole load of like affordable gift ideas, which is next week. I don't need an eviction letter to cover Christmas. Honestly, I got you. Poundland actually do really cool kids books so i got this one which is agents of nrg um these are like a science one so they're quite educational as well this one like tells you about electricity and stuff um with sort of like a comic in there as well so it's quite cool like i know my sons are going to love this i've got other ones as well um and they're only a quid and i think they're really cool for like the christmas eve box which i don't give on christmas eve i think they're really fun on the first of december which is what i'm going to do this year i did used to give it on christmas eve but i'm not doing that this year i think first of december is like spot on some people put pajamas in and i think if you give it on christmas eve it's kind of just like one night um 
I know some people celebrate it like a little bit after Christmas. I personally feel like wearing Christmas pajamas after Christmas day is a little bit criminal. I don't know. There's just some, some that don't sit right. Um, so yeah, I give mine on the 1st of December. Like I will be. Um, and I'm gonna put all stuff like this in. I think this is really cool. Got some toothpaste. Um, this one's just for work, actually. I do night shifts, as you are fully aware. You know, I waffle on about them enough, don't I? But, you know, I do my teeth at work. I do. I sneak off and do my teeth at work because I feel like, like I do them before work and I do them when I get home from work, but I just feel like they're missing that middle one. For the amount of coffee that I drink, you know, I have to be doing my teeth, that extra one in the night. So yeah, I take a toothbrush and toothpaste to work and that's just a bit of Colgate. This one's just Big Steve's coffee. I have the three in ones. And do you know what? I've had quite a few messages this week of people telling me that they have converted to my coffee and that makes me so happy. Honestly, I've been tagged in stories on Instagram. People are sending me photos. I think it's amazing. Like if you haven't tried the coffee that I drink honestly I try it you're missing out it's really weird as well because people that I know actually think I'm quite strange for drinking that like they think it's a bit weird but the amount of messages I get tells me I'm not weird believe me and anyway if anyone makes you feel weird for liking something just tell them to piss off you know you don't need that shit in your life you do you next thing I've got are some pajamas these are for big Steve but you know I'm tempted to get myself a pair these are absolutely gorgeous and they're so soft really wrapped in a bow if you are going to give them as a gift and they're only nine quid they're very soft honestly I highly recommend getting these they do have them in black as well like black and gray checked here tops black but big steve fancied these ones and they are gorgeous like they're really nice the next thing i've got are these which are like spider web decorations you get 12 spiders in this as well which i think is quite cool like i said i am going to jazz up the house um once i filmed everything for halloween um but yeah i really like that only a quid i also got some razors you could probably plait my armpit hair at the minute <laughs> Do you know what? That's totally fine. Ages ago, when I mentioned a comment like this, someone said to me, oh, I was really enjoying this video until you mentioned that, you know, women can have long hair. Totally fine. I've never said any woman can't have long hair. I really haven't. Like, I'm so big on you doing you, you know, and I'll do me sort of thing. Like, just enjoy your life do what you want but if i want to shave my body hair or i want to grow it that's up to me like if i want to say on my channel that you know my hair is very long on my body and i need to shave i'm entitled to say that slay you do you like i'm all for it but if i want to say that i need to shave my body hair then i will um but yeah you could probably plait the hair on my armpits at the minute i'm a bit chewbacca at the minute all over <laughs> probably won't even use these you know it's just one of them things i thought oh i'll grab some <laughs> Like, I just wanted to get that across, like, I'm not trying to offend anyone. Like, sometimes I shave my body hair, sometimes I don't. I'm not saying women have to shave their body hair, you know. There ain't nothing wrong with a hairy muff and a hairy arse, you know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, people. The last thing from this bag is some party cups. I like to make it feel a bit party-like for the kids, you know. So I got some of these, um, which again were only a quid. Also got some loo roll, because I do love my Poundland loo roll. Two quid for nine rolls. It's very soft. It's very nice. Well, that's like quarantine then. It says quantum. Quarantine quilts is what I thought it said. <laughs> Onto my second bag now. Um, I am starting to get a few bits in for Christmas. I am, so I've got a pretzel tray. I don't even like pretzels, but it just makes me feel a little bit more Christmas set and I love Christmas. So you get all of these little sections in there. These were only a quid, which is a bargain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear out a cupboard in the kitchen and just dedicate it to Christmas food. I'm gonna start getting a few bits every week. I just want it to be really smooth. I kinda wanna get prepared now. So yeah, I got some pretzels. So as I've said before, Poundland is banging for clothing and they've got some really nice loungewear, like autumn winter sets in at the minute. And they've got a really nice top. Like I couldn't go without it. Um, it's this really nice one which says calabasas on it so it's kind of like a crop but it's a long crop and you can adjust it here so you can kind of determine where it's going to be cropped so i got this one in extra large um i usually would get a 16 i don't actually know what an extra large is can't be asked with all the numbers anymore do you know what i mean like just pfft. If it fits, it fits. If it looks nice, you know. It's got that really nice fleecy material in. And I am going to wear this with some nice white joggers, I think. Not just white joggers. I'll obviously wear it with other stuff. But when I buy something, I always like a vision how I'm going to wear it. It says calabasas on it. Probably the closest I'll ever get to calabasas is wearing it. You know, that's for the rich, that place. To be honest, I wouldn't want to go there. They're probably up their own arse anyway. Next few bits I've got are some sweets. So these were only 50p each from Howland. And for these minion ones. So these are candy sticks. I used to walk around all the time with these candy sticks in my gob. You know, old fag ash lil. To think I would dead cool with these as a kid. I'd be like, it's so what, what? And some popping candy. This was great as well. I used to put it in my gob. Go up to all my mates and go in the rear and go, can you hear there? 
<laughs> they just be cracking away. I've got those to go in some sweetie bags that I'm doing up for the family. I've got my two and then there's three more in the family that we need to do. Um, so yeah, we just bought some bags because obviously we're not going trick or treating. We just bought some bags. We're going to fill them up with all different kinds of little bits and bobs um, and hand them out for Halloween. I also picked up some of these party plates, which are quite cool. I quite like the design on them. So I'm just going to cut up like cold pizza and stuff, um, sausage rolls, you know, just like little nibbly bits. I'm going to nip heron and see what I can get. Yeah, just to make it feel a little bit more party like. Um, so I've got them. Now yeah, I'm onto my last bag now and I've got some more toothpaste. This one's the Pearl Drops one. Um, white sparkle helps remove stains. So I'm quite like big on brushing your teeth and stuff. Like, I am quite a regular brusher, but you know, I wish they were a little bit whiter. Yeah, I do. I have a few marks here and there. I've just come with like age and stuff. Um, but I got this, I thought I'd give this a go, you know. So I picked up some Space Invaders. I got these just to put in these party bags, honestly. I'm just gonna fill it with everything. I've got some toy bits um, and like sweets and crisps and stuff. I've got some of these because they're quite Halloween-like, aren't they? You know, the alien. I'm looking way too much into it. And then I picked up more sweets for these little bags that I'm doing. So these ones were a pound each, which are Chewitt's eyeballs. I actually thought they were 50p each, I'm not gonna lie, but at the till I was just like, sod it, we'll just get them. But these were 50p, so these are um, minion jellies. Also got some of these little plate platters. Just as, you know, just a few sausage rolls and shit like that. The last few bits that I got from Poundland were some like cosmetic -y bits, and actually I'm really impressed. So they've got this. I don't know if anybody's heard of this brand, but it's actually quite a good brand. Um, it's I Isla, I, I, I don't know how to say it, to be honest. I ain't gonna be it around bush i don't know how to pronounce it isla i'm gonna say isla isla it just don't sound right does it this is false eyelash blending mascara these are actually quite expensive in like places like boots and super drug and stuff let me have a look how much this is my phone broke the other day you know and i had to get it fixed in like a little phone shop in skege oh my god do you know that evening of not having my phone I just felt like everything has gone wrong this week the night of not having my phone like you don't understand how much you use it and miss it like, it's terrible, actually. One line, that's actually £10.95. Wow. These are absolutely perfect for gifts or stocking fillers. If you're making your own advent calendar for Christmas, these are perfect. By the same brand as well, there's this pencil. So it's kind of like a highlighter pencil for under your brow bone. Again, perfect for a stocking. And then the same brand again, some brow gel. I actually picked up the wrong shade. I got blonde. So I'll probably put that in a giveaway. Um, and then this, which is by MUA Cosmetics. This is matte satin pressed powder and a lip balm, which again was a quid absolute bargain honestly and lastly from this haul i got some makeup brush cleaner which i haven't used before to be honest i haven't seen this in poundland I'm being honest i just use shampoo i ain't gonna lie to clean my brushes and it works a treat but i thought i'd try this out for a quid again perfect little stocking filler because it's a quid to clean your brushes do you know what i mean absolute bargain that is the end of this poundland video i hope you enjoyed it i've got my gift video coming next week if you do want to subscribe you know you'll be able to check that out if you did want to follow me on instagram it's fayj202 i'll link it in the description box i hope whatever you're doing wherever you are in the world right now you're having a great day or evening and i'll see you in my next video